In today's video, we bring you the most shocking disbandment news from 2011 to 2022, so let's get right into it. 2011 2011 was a big year for K-pop, as a lot of iconic groups debuted that year. Unfortunately, it was also the year when the girl group Sia, who has been a huge hit since their debut in 2006, officially disbanded. After five successful years with numerous awards up their sleeves and dozens of songs and collaborations under their name, several members of the group decided to depart. After Lee Sumi left Sia in July of 2010, the group briefly continued as a duo made up of two original members, Kim Yeonji and Lee Bo-ram. In December of 2010, their agency announced that the group will disband shortly after their next album release, which was in January of 2011. Nam Kyuri, who departed from the group in April of 2009, shared that departing from the group was the best thing she could do for herself since they were all so young and scared as well. 2012 2012 saw the debut of legendary K-pop acts like EXID, Newest, or EXO. It seemed though that while one group debuted, a different one disbanded. Throughout the year, six groups overall disbanded, those groups being 2NB, Big Mama, Black Pearl, Broken Valentine, Loveholics, and T-Max. Fans of the duo group 2NB didn't have to be sad for long because even though the group disbanded, Ho Sol Ji, who was a vocalist in 2NB, debuted as a member and a main vocalist of EXID the same year. 2013 2013 saw the disbandment of the group DMTN, previously known as Dalmatian. They debuted in 2010, and their fame was on a steady rise in Korea after they released their two singles, Lover Cop and That Man Opposed. Everything seemed to be going great for them, until one of the members, Daniel, got into a huge controversy, which inevitably changed everything. Daniel was indicted in March of 2013 for selling, introducing, and using illegal substances. Daniel admitted to all his charges, and although his lawyers asked for leniency, it was not granted, and in October of 2013, Daniel was sentenced to one year in prison. Following the controversy, the group was put on an indefinite hiatus while the other members went to pursue solo activities. 2014 2014 was a very sad year for fans of the group Next, which stood for New Experiment Team. They have been active between 1992 and 1997, and the group was reformed back again in 2003. This group was formed by the legendary singer and songwriter Shin Hye Chol, and after the group was put back together in 2003, they released three studio albums until some terrible news was reported in October of 2014. It was announced that Shin Hye Chol passed away at the age of 46, six days after he suffered a cardiac arrest. In August of 2015, Shin Hye Chol's family filed a lawsuit for negligence against the doctor who carried out the singer's surgery, claiming that Shin Hye Chol complained of fever and pain after the surgery, but the doctor did not do anything. His family was demanding 2.3 billion Korean won as compensation, and fortunately, in November of 2016, the doctor responsible for the surgery was found guilty and was sentenced to 10 months in prison and two two years of probation. Since Shin Hye Chol's passing, the group has been considered to be on hiatus, although they haven't officially disbanded. 2015 In 2015, the seemingly troubled girl group Glam decided to call it quits. Debuting in July of 2012, it didn't take long until Glam encountered the first of many problems in their careers. Within the first five months after debut, it was announced that the founding member Trinity would be leaving the group due to personal reasons. This was a huge shock. Glam were at the peak of their careers. The reason for Trinity's departure had never been disclosed, although there were rumors going around that Trinity was a saucing fan of Eth Hook from Super Junior, and that's why she was made to leave the group. It felt like the group had been cursed since then, because in 2014, the actor Lee Byung Hyun reported to the police that he was blackmailed and extorted by two women, one of them being Dahi from Glam. After Dahi was sentenced to one year in prison, Big Hit Entertainment and Source Music decided to officially disband the group. The reason for the disbandment was not only the fact that Dahi was convicted, but both agencies also stated that Glam's contract contracts expired at the end of 2014, so they didn't renew it in 2015. 2016 2016 was an unfortunate year for so many groups, but the disbandment news that hit the hardest were definitely those of 21. The girl group was at the peak of their career, and so when the abrupt news of the group's disbandment came, everyone was rightfully shocked and surprised. No one really knew what happened until 2021 when the truth started to slowly come out. When CL did an interview with AP Entertainment, she revealed that she found out about the disbandment news through the media, and no one bothered to inform her or any of the members. The reporter Lee Jin Ho decided to shine some light on what happened all those years ago and answer questions that remained unanswered until then. According to his insider Intel, 21 was planning to continue as a three-member group following Minji's departure. Their new album was supposedly prepared to be released when the news of their disbandment broke out. Another group that shocked the industry with disbandment news was 4Minute. On June 13th of 2016, Cube Entertainment announced that 4Minute would disband following their contract expiration with only Hyuna renewing her contract with the agency. The agency's representative stated that although they tried to persuade half of the members to renew the contracts, they ended up accepting the members' decision not to continue as a group. 
2017. This year was undoubtedly full of disbandments as groups like 2AM, Miss A, and Sista decided to call it quits that year. On top of these legendary acts, 2017 was the year when IOI and Wonder Girls decided to break up. IOI was formed through the survival show Produce 101 in 2016, and their disbandment was announced just a few months after their debut, despite the group being very successful. In November of 2016, YMC Entertainment announced that IOI would disband on January 31st of 2017, but that the group would still be active and promoting until their contracts expire. Their last schedule as a group was on January 25th of 2017, and the group officially disbanded four days later on January 29th. Wonder Girls, on the other hand, disbanded after 10 wonderful years in the industry. The group debuted in 2007 after JYP Entertainment, and despite their lineup changing numerous times throughout the years, they will always be considered as pioneers of K-pop. 2018. The most talked about disbandment of 2018 was definitely the breakup of Triple H, consisting of Pentagon members Don and Hui and Hyuna. Triple H debuted in 2017, and their careers ended too quickly in 2018. In August of 2018, it was reported that Hyuna and Don are allegedly in a relationship, which Cube Entertainment quickly denied, stating that the rumor about these two were not true. Hyuna decided to pull an Uno reverse card, and she spoke up against the company, revealing that she and Don had been dating for two years already. The couple said, We know that our relationship will stick with us, but we thought it would be difficult to see our fans on stage if we didn't announce it. After they have decided to come clean about their relationship, Cube Entertainment decided to remove them from the company, stating, After much discussion and consideration, we have decided that we could not regain the trust of the two artists. I hope that Cube regrets letting them go, because Triple H could have been so successful. 2019 2019 saw the fall of yet another Produce 101 group. In 2017, 101 made their debut after the survival show, and they immediately became popular among the rookie groups. In December of 2018, 101's agency Swing Entertainment announced that 101's contract would end as it was originally planned on December 31st of 2018. They were able to attend the year-end shows and award ceremonies throughout January 2019, but as soon as those ended, 101 was officially over. Just a few months after 101's disbandment, it was announced that Priston would be parting ways as well. According to reports, both the members and their agency, Pletus Entertainment, sat down and decided on disbandment. Except for three members, everyone else in Priston decided to terminate their contracts with the company. This disbandment didn't come off as a shock since Priston didn't have any group activities for two years, but it was still sad news to wake up to because Pletus had obviously wasted the huge potential Priston had. 2020. Swing Entertainment seems to have no luck when it comes to their artists because just a year later after 101, they had to deal with yet another disbandment and coincidentally, it was a Produce 101 group again called X1. X1 debuted in August of 2019 with the single Flash, but they didn't get to taste the stardom as they were affected by the investigation on Mnet's voting manipulation and their activities were halted. The negotiation about the group's future was unsuccessful as well, and the process was overall pretty strange. Swing Entertainment and the members' individual agencies held a meeting to determine the future of the group, and a secret ballot was held by said agencies. The agencies agreed beforehand that the group would only continue if there was a unanimous agreement or else the group would have to disband. Overall, four agencies voted that the group should continue, four agencies voted for the group's disbandment, and one agency's vote was unclear and immediately discarded. It was then determined that the group would disband. The way this was organized was deemed controversial and unfair by X1's fans, and they even staged a protest demanding the relaunch of the group, but all of their effort was unsuccessful. 2021. The popular girl group G-Friend was forced to disband in 2021. On May 22nd of 2021, it was announced that G-Friend would be officially disbanding since the members' contracts with Source Music ended and the members were not given the option to renew their contracts. What came off as a shock was when G-Friend's leader Solwan shared that neither she nor the other members knew that they would be disbanding. She shared, The members and I don't think the group was disbanded. However, it is true that it was really hard for us to accept it in our hearts because it was so sudden. It was really hard to say goodbye, but we have to live on and I can't just struggle. Netizens were pretty vocal about how they felt about the disbandment and even went on to say that it felt forced and one-sided since neither of the girls knew about it or either wanted to leave the group or pursue other activities. Eyes One was another group that disbanded in 2021 after their contracts expired in April. 2022. Although we are only in the first half of 2022, we've already been hit with some disbandment news, especially CLC and Newest. CLC decided to part their ways in May of 2022 after they had a pretty rough 2020 and 2021. After numerous members of the group decided to leave the company Cube Entertainment as they didn't decide to renew their contracts, and one member even filing a legal notice against the agency claiming that they haven't been paid for her activities, the news of their disbandment left all of their fans sad and heartbroken, but it seemed like it was for the best. The disbandment of Newest was an 
announced after nearly a year of no releases and activities in February of 2022. The group's contract with Pletus Entertainment officially ended in March of 2022, but two members decided to renew their contract. To mark off their 10-year anniversary, they released a compilation album, Needles and Bubbles, on March 15th of 2022, closing off the decade of being a group. There we go, guys! Which of these disbandments was the most shocking to you? Thanks for watching! Bye!